Hey everybody and welcome back to another episode. So in this episode we are off to a planet called um Roseway. No, no, it's Terra 2, but it's like a settlement called Roseway, Remember, I think. Items in the hold may shift. Modifications. Yeah, okay. I've already modified a gun, so don't need to worry about that. Uh Don't really have any other type of modifications, so that's fine. Um, uh, there's only weapons. I'm sure I can mod. I can. I can fix armor. During takeoffs and landings. Oh. Don't matter. Okay, let's go and uh, see this distress signal, shall we? Welcome back, Captain. How can I be of assistance? I picked up uh, this distress call. Can you play it back for me, Ada? Yes, Captain. Beginning playback now. There's... There's viscera and death everywhere. Gunfire, gnashing teeth, the unemployed. For law's sake, if anyone's receiving this, please send help. What? Uh, no, 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 no! Captain, we are now capable of accessing the Roseway landing pad. Also, corporate protocol requires that all distress signals include a list of key personnel for retrieval. The embedded names are Anton Crane, Vaughn Cortez, and Orson Shaw. Well, I'm in the mood for some entertainment. Let's go. Goodbye. Completely read that wrong then, but whatever. I, I saved it at the end there. Uh, okay, let's go back to Terra 2 then. We're now in orbit above Roseway, Captain. Where's Pavati? Hey, Captain. Can I get your temperature on something real quick? Sure thing. So, June Lay and I have been talking some. Through messages? I got him here on my data pad, and well, she sent me a poem. One she wrote her own self, I'm pretty sure. I don't know if I should read into it. Because poems are all symbolic and such, right? It's not so good. But real sweet. It comes from the heart, you'd say? Oh, law. That's what's got me spooked. I don't rightly know. It's about this engine that's been shaking itself apart. Then this lady mechanic comes by and lays one hand on it. And the trouble goes away. It sings. I don't want to get too hopeful, but I'm wondering if maybe she's the engine and I'm the lady? It's a real romantic poem. It made my chest hurt, kind of. Sounds like she likes you. I don't know where it's leading yet, or if I'm misinterpreting. I'm not much interested in physical stuff. Never have been. Leastways, not like other folks seem to be. It's not that I can't. I just don't care for it. It's been a problem in the past. The folk who wanted to be with me back in the Vale, they didn't... They said I was cold. You're about the warmest person I ever met. To hell with them. Thanks, Captain. That makes me feel a touch better. I actually had another message from June Lei. I just couldn't work up the courage to open it. But I'm gonna change that. Right now. Okay, here we go. Let's see here. Talking about old friends. Got to thinking... Isabel. Who's... Who's Isabel? Everything okay? They were close, Captain. Like, more than friends close. They were close? As in, not anymore? I don't know. June Lay talked about them like it was past, but how far in the past? Ten years? Last week? 
Captain, I'm feeling all mixed up right now. Could we maybe head to the Groundbreaker? Get some drinks at that bar there? Lost Hope? Well, if that's what you want, next time we hit the Groundbreaker, drinks are on me. Thanks, Captain. I'll be ready. Okay, so let's uh, disembark. I don't really need the vicar. I'll take Felix and Pavati. I can see now what Felix is capable of, and like what weapons he uses, etc., etc. Okay, so we're on Roseway. No guards, huh? I like this place already. You would. Uh, anyway, let's get going. Something chewed clear through that armor. Okay, so, so that armor wasn't very helpful. I think that's kind of the armor I'm wearing as well, so... like it. Ugh, these, these loading screens are really going to turn my stomach. Thank god I don't eat when I'm gaming. Ugh. See what happened here then. I done had enough of this shit. I'm just the fucking tarmac guard. No one said nothing about fighting no raps. What happened here? Alarms went off, raps broke loose, and I hightailed it in here to get a wall between me and them beasts. Can you tell me who's in charge? Scientists. Name of Anton Crane. Someone said he's panicking inside the comm center. What were you doing outside? What do you think? I'm the landing pad guard. I was standing out on the fucking tarmac. Hell of a job until all this. Anything else you'd like to know? Did you send a distress call? Distress call? From here? Shit. They told me that weren't allowed. What? Why not? Got me. I just do what I'm told, and I was told not to do such. Well, I'm just gonna take a look around. Oh, before I forget, Auntie Cleo's makes the best pharmaceuticals in Halcyon. Better than nature. Not like that crap Spacer's Choice pedals. Uh, yeah, good to know. Everyone is trying to sell me crap in this game. Ah, outlaws, I assume. Do me a favor and let me finish this, will you? And then make it quick, please. Uh, what are you talking about? Aren't you with the brutes that attacked our lab? Aren't you here to pillage our supplies and leave our corpses to the Raptodons? I'm here to help. Someone sent me, uh, well, someone sent out a distress call. Oh, well, good luck. Now, if you got the carpet in here, it's just a matter of... Ah, Orson, you idiot. Just put it... Ah. 
Um, what are you doing there? What does it look like? I'm preparing a personal defense device, or trying to, anyway. Hmm. If you run a wire from the capacitor there, you can bypass that circuit and save a little power. I... why yes, I suppose I could. Thanks. Need a hand? No, uh, well, yes, well, uh, no, uh, perhaps. I left schematics in our storage facility. As far as I know, the security commander hasn't found them yet. I admit I'd feel better were they returned to me. Sure, I'll uh, see what I can find. Say, uh, you wouldn't happen to have a tube of thermal paste on you, would you? No. Blast! Well, good luck. I hope I see you back here in one piece. Uh huh. Okay, what's this other bit? If you've come to end my life, let's be on with it. Oh, not actually one of them, are you? No. Did you send the distress call? Y yes, yes. Anton Crane, lead scientist here. I must apologize if my call diverted you. I, uh... May have panicked. Everything's under control now, though, truth be told. Uh, under control? That's what you call hiding in an abandoned town surrounded by raptodons? Standard operating procedure for suits, boss. They're all a bunch of cowards. I'm not sure it's right to fault a man for trying to survive. Well, how about we hear him out before we judge him? An attack. One that I'd wager was due to the nature of my research here. But why cancel the distress call? My research may not quite fall within legal parameters, so I'm under orders to maintain wireless silence. However, having your head used as target practice can addle one's thinking. I cut the call immediately once I've gathered my wits. The Home Office can't know what's happening here. I think they want to be notified first if anything happened here. We're expendable resources. To be neglected and left to our fates were anything untoward to happen. That seems a bit harsh. May strike you as such, but nothing less than what we signed on for. More than worth it, in my estimation. Yet you called for help. Sure you don't want... You know... Cast any light on it? Perhaps, uh, if you can prove yourself worthy of trust, the fact that you're here now has me thinking you'd be someone not averse to risking your life, if the pay were right. What do I need to do? Hours ago, a group of vicious malcontents fell upon us, shot up our labs and loosed our research subjects, the Raptodons. If those Cretans get their hands on my research, well, they'll need not kill me. Okay, if you tell me what you're researching, I'd have a better idea of what's at stake here exactly. You have a point there. It most decidedly cannot make this situation any worse. All right, we were tasked with formulating a new and improved dental gel. Wait, this is all about toothpaste? One cannot exaggerate the benefits of good dental hygiene. May I continue? Please, by all means. While doing research on enzymes specific to the Raptodon's digestive system, we developed an additive which we subsequently discovered to be the most effective appetite suppressant ever. You can sort of, you know, couch it however you like. Uh, it's still just toothpaste. Um, diet toothpaste. Not just any diet toothpaste. The ultimate 
diet toothpaste. It's not worth your life. I wouldn't care if it was the ultimate rocket fuel. Oh, I'm certain it could be made into that as well, with only a few changes to its molecular composition. But you're missing the point. Let's focus for a moment, shall we? Even if you disregard the obvious value of Auntie Cleo's Apazap diet toothpaste in and of itself, we're talking about my career here as well. Apazap? Nice, is it not? Came up with that myself. It's a shame our marketing department is almost as befuddled as my co-workers here. Say no more. I'll remove the uh, Cretans and retrieve your research. Want me to deal with the Raptodons too? Yes, but don't kill their mother if it's avoidable. We've need of her to replenish our stocks. I think there's gas in the lab somewhere that can be used to put them out. The research is in the safe in my office. You'll have need of my code and keycard. The lab's entrance is in the side of a hill. You can't miss it if you just follow the road. You'll pass by the town's original... by the Grand Architect. Jameson, he's in the old lab. Who's Jameson? My protege. I sent him to retrieve some metabolic precursors, and I forgot him. I'll find him. That would surely lighten the weight on my conscience, as I am held to account for the well-being of every scientist here. Too many have been lost. Too many black marks against my name, as it were. And far too much paperwork. And all you care about is how it affects you. I'll thank you not to mistake my ambition for callousness. What should I mistake it for? Compassion? If my colleagues refuse to take their lives seriously, why should I? All they do is complain. They refuse to see the opportunity afforded us here. Just wanted to hear you admit that you're a heartless bastard. Thank you. Believe what you will, but I'm not the manipulative, ego-driven person you think me to be. I'm not. Well, I guess I'll just have to take your word for it. Have a good day. Alright, let's go and find these guys. Um, Retrieve Orson Schematics, Rescue Dreams, I can do that. Um, hmm. What's this up here? I don't know about Dr. Crane's research, but we ought to find Mr. Jameson. He's gonna be all alone, scared. Someone else to talk to. You picked a hell of a day to visit. I'm Vaughn. Vaughn Cortez. Uh, Dr. Vaughn Cortez. But just Vaughn's fine, really. Uh, where were you when the outlaws attacked? Over in the main labs. I rabbited back here when I realized I was hearing gunshots, not blown fuses. We've been cooped up in here, I don't know, hours? Too long. I have to get back to, to work. No job is worth dying for. Uh, Dr. Crane might say otherwise. Me? When those guys started shooting the place up, I was first out the door. I had to leave an experiment running at the lab. Something I've been working on a long while. Something that could really get me ahead. Know what I mean? Um, we're likely headed that way. Anything we can do? I've been extracting organic compounds from raptodons. Compounds that have... Um, benefits. 
Extract and how? No, wait, maybe I don't want to know. In certain social situations. Personal situations. Where you might want to, um, enhance your charisma. Fascinating, I'm sure. Uh, you going to tell me where I'm going? Sure. Of course. Our lab's south of here, down the road. Not the old public lab, the one past that, built into the mountainside. Second lab down the road. When and uh, what do I do when I get there? My equipment's in the lower levels, way in the back. I have a big room all to myself. Dissection tables and whatnot. It should have been running this whole time. Just grab the results and bring them here. Alright, I'll head up there and keep an eye out. Great! Uh, this is really gonna save my ass. Alright, let's go. How do you suppose that stuff's used? Do you drink it, or is it like... Perfume? Oof. If I had to look at those yellow walls all day, I'd make a point to sleep on the roof. The ventilation shaft runs from the... The Dissident Hunter. Not 100% sure what that is. A freed anarchy soon follows. When indentured servants. Oh. Okay, I'm gonna head over to that one first because that seems to be the closest on the map. But I'd say closest from left to right, anyway. Everyone, all right? Damn, this place is like a war zone. It's just him firing his grenade launcher or whatever. Alright, uh, yeah, let's uh, hike it over to this place. You could take that ship in a race. Hmm. Is there anything else here? Doesn't look like it. It looks like the mod I made to the bullets for the gun was, was pretty decent. We're actually doing pretty decent here. Like, you know, well, I haven't really lost that much health. I've lost a bit of ammo, but uh, nothing uh, major. It's not like my first trip to Terra when I'm running back and forth to the nearest vendor to buy ammo every like two minutes. Oh god, fuck that geothermal plant. Terra on Monarch and Ruth Bellamy as Halcyon something. Halcyon Harry or whatever.
Okay. Just pick up everything I can, I guess. And that leads me back outside. Don't want to do that. Who was this? that give me anything? Anything handy? I doubt it. I don't even know how you can get a kitchen this dirty with just canned food. Okay, I need one, uh, like, hacking module thingy majiggy. Just one. Probably one around you somewhere. If I remember correctly, from uh, going around in Edgewater, vending machines don't sell what I'm looking for. Oh, crap! Yeah, there you go. Okay, come on, come on, I gotta have, there's gotta be something somewhere, right? There's gotta be one, like, lockpick mechanism thing somewhere. Oh, there isn't, is there? Ah, you gotta be shitting me. Oh, there's two. Didn't realize. What happened to the other guy? Oh, he's done that. He's fine. Plasma weakness. Uh, plasma damage received plus twenty-five percent. Oh, fine, I'll have that one. Um. Hmm. Sure, I'll have that one. Where are we headed? Didn't mean to do that. All this space and this is all they get to sleep in? He was a scientist, so he's bound to have... Like... Some kind of hacking tool, you'd think? 
But then again, I suppose if he was a if he was a company man, then he wouldn't. Uh, doesn't look like he does. Ah, uh, son of a bitch. So basically, the mechanicals went haywire again and murdered everybody. That sounds familiar. Yeah. Okay. picked up or what I did, but cool. Yay, I have ammo again. Town knows how to clean up after themselves. Heads up! I'm like, you do know we're in a confined space here. Why are you using a grenade launcher? So yeah, that's pretty much that done. We got the, uh, the gun schematics. So let's go and rescue that guy in the lab then, shall we? And I might do that in the next episode, because the little timer I got to show me how long I've been recording for has gone off. So I'm going to call it a day here. And in the next episode then, I'm going to be rescuing Jameson from the lab and so on and so forth. Hope you're all enjoying the episode and the walkthrough in general. Um, yeah, if you if you are, leave a comment down below and leave a like for the video because that would be greatly appreciated. And if you wait around until the end screen, you'll have some suggestions on other videos of mine to check out that you might like. And oh shit, that's not good. Hang on, I'll just uh, deal with these guys. Oh my god, there's mechanical. Alright, I know. Run. There's no point in hanging around. I don't want to waste ammo fighting that thing. Not 100% sure where I am, actually. Um... Yeah, okay, that'll work. Am I wrong for looking at this colossal machine of destruction and thinking, Felix, you should hijack that? Okay, this 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 uh, end of the episode didn't really go my way, did it? Ran away from one raving band of lunatics and ran straight into another. I think that's... Let me check, actually. Hey, there you go. That's the building I have to get to to rescue Jameson. Cool. 
Uh, well, like I said, for now that's pretty much it. Um, if you wait around until the uh, the end screen, then you'll have some suggestions and other videos of mine to watch, and you can also hit the subscribe button, and that'll allow you to keep up to date then with all my walkthroughs and the rest of this walkthrough, and the next one, because Death Stranding is out this week, uh, coming, so, yeah. That'll be doing that day one. Uh, thank you all for watching, and until next time, you take care.